Okay, we're on the CDT. Oops. In New Mexico. Oops, ouch. That's Mexico back there. And greetings, humans. It is day one, and we are currently having a siesta. It is 12.56 p.m. New Mexico time. And I am currently laying on my backpack underneath my umbrella. It's quite nice. Eli is over there trying to find a more comfy spot for um, a siesta. I'm laying in rocks. So, if that's any indicator of how sleepy we are, I think that's a good one. Um, there aren't any bugs. There's just flies. Um, I've seen one lizard and one small butterfly. That's the, the fauna report. The flora report, I have seen some flowers. And a whole bunch of cactuses, cacti, cactuses, whatever, I've seen a lot of them. And then, um, yeah, so I'm gonna take a nap, talk to you guys in a while. With the rattlesnake. Yay! Not a road walk, but a river walk. There's our windmill. When they tell you that the trail is not well defined, believe them. Some places it is. In the beginning, it was very well defined. Our last well defined section was um, a bit of a road walk. That was a mistake. And then walking in a wash yesterday, aka a um, like a flood pain riverbed thing. That's fine? Okay. These things are super spiky. We're in a different kind of desert now. It's almost like, um, what it makes me think of is in The Lion King, where Scar and the hyenas live, because everything is pokey and everything is dry. Still having a good time now, honestly. Good morning, humans. We are currently doing a road walk, um, but it's not much of a road. It's kind of just two defined footpaths. Maybe it gets used once a year. And I'm currently going downhill, so pardon that. It is a beautiful morning, truth be told. Nice and cool. It's supposed to be windy this afternoon, so um, that's a thing to be aware of. And then the other oh, random tip that I got the other day from a gentleman who lives, because this part of New Mexico super high up. We're talking 5,000 feet at the terminus. Um, within that first day, you're up to a mile, a mile high. So for us, coming from Minnesota, 800, 900 feet of elevation, um, it's a little bit of a struggle 
not necessarily with the altitude though it is a bit tough um but the dryness it's got like single digits humidity here um and that's tough i had a nosebleed the first day and i don't get spontaneous nosebleeds uh so a tip i got from a gentleman who lives in a similar kind of climate in california he said you know snort a little bit of water every night it'll kind of moisturize you um i did that and then i globbed some vaseline over it then i realized like the other night it's like i just want to breathe some moisture so what i did was i got um a fabric mask which i'm carrying for obvious reasons wet it up a little bit slapped it over my face and went to sleep such a good sleep so if you're changing from a really moist place to a really dry place grab a fabric mask cover your face while you sleep <clears throat> i'm still getting used to the altitude but let's go Yesterday, can't really see it, but we came from over by that smallest part of the mountain. As a Minnesotan, I have to admit, I don't often appreciate how many trees oops, we have. But let me tell you, you come to the desert and you see this big boy, you start to appreciate trees. You appreciate trees a lot. First bit of trail magic. Thanks, guys. Also, that's an epic tree. In all of this flat. Alrighty. But I gotta start walking. Otherwise, Eli's gonna leave me in the dust. Two little bits of trail magic in the same day. The first one was that box of, like, hiker aid. The second? Cuties! Eli and I found exactly two cuties sitting on a rock. And if I were in most other places in the world and in my life, I would go, I'm not eating that cutie. Um, <laughs> but when you're hiker trash, you eat cuties that you find on rocks. <laughs> what it's for. I know. But it's right, it was right at where the, um, the trail crosses the road. They knew what they were doing. So, we'll say bismillah and eat some they cuties. So good. I know. We camped just down the road on that side of the cattle gate. And if you're looking, if you get here to Vista Rim and you see that spigot up there, there's a hatch up at the top of the ladder you can grab water. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to see, but the spigot is right there <clears throat> in the corner closest to the tank. Um, See if we're having trouble finding it. That's where it is. Oh, 
Okay, we leave behind the magic that was Apple in his big silver dome with sweet apple pies, cold drinks, and got to hang out with a whole bunch of other hikers. That was nice, sit in a real chair. And next, back into the desert. Ready, Eli? And another one. It's the third plane. This is where we are. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Um, Eli and I had a great time on our hike from uh, Crazy Cook up to Lordsburg, and I hope to see you in the next one. Anyway, thanks. See you later, guys.